everyone. Welcome to my Python tips and tricks videos. In this video we will see Python's way to loop through the list items, the enumerate function, and the zip function to unpack list items from multiple lists. So, let's jump right in. Here, I am on my Jupyter Notebook, provided by Google Colab. Which, I think the easiest way to start coding Python. As we can see here, that we have created a list, and we have some list items, in it. We also have declared an index variable, and we initiated its value to zero. Now, let's loop over the list items. We are saying here that, for each item in the M list, we will print the index value we have initiated above to zero, and the list item itself. And the loop will increment the index value by one, for each iteration. So we generally unpack list items in the above way. But, the Python provides a smarter, and more robust way to unpack list items, through the enumerate function. Let's try this. We know that, every list item has an index value. For example, we can access the last item in our M list, using its index value. So, what the enumerate function does is, it grabs the list index automatically, when iterating through the list items. We now can print both indices, and values from the list with a much smarter way, using the enumerate function. The enumerate function allows the start argument. Therefore, if we want our loop to start counting from other than zero, then we can specify that value in the start argument. As we can see here, we have defined in the argument, the start count from 1. Therefore, the loop starts counting the index from the 1. Until now, we have seen unpacking single list items. But what should we do, when we need to unpack items from multiple lists? Because enumerate only allows accessing index, when looping through list items. Although we can do unpack two lists using enumerate function, because we can access items from another list using the index values which the function grabs from the first list. Here our enumerate function starts grabbing list index with the iteration of the first list, the last name, and using that index values we are accessing items in the second list, the first name, for each iteration. But, what should we be doing when we have more than two lists to unpack? Here comes the zip function. The python zip function allows access to multiple lists simultaneously to unpack the list items. Now, if we store all values that the zip function returns after each iteration in a single variable, then we can see that the zip function returns a tuple of items after looping through multiple lists. So, this brings us to the end of our Python tips and tricks video, on looping over list items, next we may come up with another Python video like this. Till then keep watching our other tutorials, where we're presenting machine learning concepts in Python, and also showing different machine learning, and deep learning projects. So stay learning, and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button.